Mitchell. What's up my little hooligans? It's your boy DaVinci with Swanee. Welcome back to another video. Today is a day that I've been talking about for a long time and that is car shopping. Guys, we are buying a brand new car. You guys have seen so many videos of me, you know, looking at the R8s and looking at the fucking whatever. But today we're actually doing it and we're getting a car, but it has to be under. $5,995, because I'm on a budget. No, we're definitely not getting a fucking car that's $6,000. We'll see what we get, man. It's a, it's an exciting day for sure. I was so fucking fed up with that Tesla. Like, hate that car so much, I'm sorry. Elon, you pissed me off. Stop tweeting about cryptocurrency, please, because you're fucking up my finances. He's the voice of reason. I'm the emotional guy who just makes rash decisions, super impulsive. Hi. So he's here to balance me out. So yeah, guys, the last video you guys saw was me looking at the Audi R8. It was a 2014. I took a train down to San Diego to go look at this shit. And to be honest, like, it was a beautiful car and I loved it, but it didn't, it wasn't, it was, there's a couple reasons why I wasn't kind of going for it. A, soft top, not a soft top guy. B, the car just like wasn't as loud as I thought it would be. It's a V8, it wasn't a V10. Obviously the i8 is nowhere near as loud as the R8, but the doors, bro. The doors go up, it shit's fly as fuck. I'm all about the neck breakers. R8 wasn't it, but uh, I think the i8, or probably one of these Mercedes Benzes, is gonna be the car that we end up picking up. So let's see what happens. got to Pacific BMW in Glendale. We're gonna be looking at a brand new M4 competition. This is the other car that I'm looking at. We're basically deciding between the BMW i8, BMW M4. So we're gonna be leaving one of these cars. I just don't know exactly what it's gonna be yet, but uh, I heard the M4 is fucking sweet, so I'm excited to get in it. The only problem is a lot of these M4s are only manual transmission, so I can't drive a fucking man, bro. I'm not. You have to like be so coordinated with all your like feet, like I can't. I can barely dribble a basketball, to be honest. Here guys, let's go look at the M4. 2021 M4, baby. This one's fire. Yeah, I'm just gonna be chauffeured. <laughs> it's got an incredible interior. The only problem is the fucking manual transmission and I don't drive fucking manual. So I can't actually buy this car, but at least now I'll know exactly if, you know, this is a car that I want. It's stunning, man. It smells good. It smells like... It like leather. Like leather. Like leather, yeah. Kind of comfy. It's got bucket seats, but yeah, not bad. All right, guys, so we're handling some of the boring car stuff. When you buy a car, you gotta check insurance, you gotta work with the banks, figure out the, you know, the credit, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of, like, a lot of bullshit, boring stuff. So we're working on uh, my insurance guy. Shout out to, I don't even know his name. Kareem, we'll go Kareem. Shout out to Kareem, checking out my insurance. Um, and I think, guys, I'm a little confused because I don't know if I want to get the M4, or if I want to get the i8, or if I want to get a GT43 or a fucking, Sometimes I'll be researching Rolls Royces, so it's just my mind is like everywhere, but we sat in the M4 and honestly, the car is stunning. It feels great, it's loud, and honestly, like for daily driving, because I go back to Riverside and you know I drive a lot, so it actually might make a lot of sense to get the M4. So if the insurance prices make sense, I think we might be leaving with the M4. The only problem is all the ones that they have here are manual transmission, so I have to probably wait a week or two to get my automatic transmission. It'll be lit, you know, we come here, we see the car. We'll see you guys, I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen, but. You know, everywhere I go, I see i8s. It's such a beautiful car, man. What do you guys think? So now, I just realized there's a Mercedes-Benz literally down the damn street, so we're gonna walk over to Mercedes, see what the fuck they have. Maybe we'll end up with a Mercedes. I don't know. Let's go. Uh, random, but make sure you guys go check out the Davidges Den podcast that I just did with Bryce Hirschberg from Too Hot to Handle, fire episode. He talked a lot about his whole experience on reality TV, dating Nicole, his issues with Harry Jowsey, all that good stuff. So that's coming out probably tomorrow morning. So make sure you guys go check that out. Uh, again, Bryce Hirschberg, Davidges Den, best podcast in the world. All right, you guys, it's been a long day of car shopping and uh, finally got the insurance quote from my guy over at uh, Camperado. And he's saying my payment's actually gonna be, it's pretty reasonable. So kind of just deciding, bro, do I get the i8? Do I get the M4? Should I just say fuck it and get both? <laughs> Should I get none? I don't know, we're gonna fucking decide. I gotta think, as we're walking back, there, we came to Mercedes, there's nothing here. I'm not, I'm not getting a Benz, I already had a Benz. So we're gonna walk back to BMW, and then I think we're gonna make a decision as we're walking, so. Yeah, let's go. Right now, it's telling me just to. 
Yeah, I'm really hungry right now. <laughs> I need some food in my stomach. Also, I haven't had my coffee. I don't know, okay, I'm conflicted. Still haven't made a decision, guys. We've been here for 12 hours. Just sitting, haven't had food, no water. I'm melting. Just kidding, guys, we've been here for like 12 minutes. We're just figuring it out as we go. So I'm feeling pretty good about the M4s. I haven't ever had a BMW, so this will be the first time. I had the Mercedes and the Tesla, so kind of leaning towards the M4, but of course the IA is kind of like that dream car. Like it's got the door. It's really the doors that do it for me, to be honest. Um, but I think for daily driving, like the M4 probably, M4 probably makes a lot of sense. And the interior that, the, that they have on these two cars, the green and the white, pretty fucking sweet. Or we could just say fucking and get the Toyota. <laughs> Match my dad's car. Yeah, so this one, this is the M8, obviously much, <clears throat> much more expensive car. This one has the same seats as the M4 that I'm looking at. Uh, it's kind of like a white, uh, grayish color. It's called, what's it called, sandstone, I think. It's pretty cool. I like it. Plus with the green exterior on it, I think it might look pretty fresh. Yeah, I wonder if I could convert the doors to make them I8 doors. That would be sick. But that's not practical. None of this is practical. <laughs> But that's what I like about myself. I'm impractical. And I do shit that is frowned down upon by people like my dad. <laughs> All right, fam, so basically what we've determined is we've narrowed it down to really three cars. We've got the green exterior with the white interior BMW M4 competition. Then we got a white with an orange interior with the bucket seats. That's also a 2021 M4 competition. The other car that I'm looking at is the 2015 BMW i8. Obviously less practical, but it's got the doors, bro. The doors are fucking sweet. We're gonna see, man. We're gonna go have some lunch, talk about it. Probably get scolded by my father about how impractical I am with my decisions. And then uh, we'll come back and we'll, you know, we'll pick something. So, yeah, let's go eat. Yesterday was one of the craziest days of my life. We bought a fucking brand new car, man. 2016 BMW i8. New whip, baby, yes sir. Obviously, shit is just fucking exciting right now. I, th I don't think you guys understand how fucking happy I am. So, I'm gonna tell you guys a little story, all right? Entrepreneurship is one of those things that takes literally years. I started my first business when I was 13, okay? So I've been doing this shit, I'm 24 now. I've never been into like being, <laughs> being like normal. You know what I'm saying? Like I always wanted to be different and I knew I had something that was different within me and I just, I've always kind of believed in myself and yes, I've had those ups and downs, the anxiety, you know, the issues with um, self-doubt, like all this shit where I'm like, fuck, like am I really built for this thing called entrepreneurship, which, you know, it's so glamorized and all that stuff, but what people don't see is the work, the actual substantial work that it takes. You're sitting at your desk hours and hours and hours a day trying to build businesses, trying to make shit apps. One of those goals that I've had as an entrepreneur was I've always wanted to have a fucking i8. Like, I've always just really wanted to have this beautiful i8. I always thought the doors were fucking sick. Like, just a sexy car. And my goal, fuck, I'm trying not to cry, bro. It's crazy. It's your boy just purchased a beautiful 2016 BMW i8. I'm probably gonna wrap this shit. I don't know what color, maybe do like a, maybe a matte black or something, but it's just fucking sick, bro. Hey, there she is. Boom, fucking amazing. I love this one because it's got like a light blue stitching inside. It matches kind of the wheel right there. Let's do a full walk around. the passenger side there she is guys fuck 